Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand spanking new episode of CTL. And we are going to be starting off with uh, CTL's own general manager, Brandon Styles. It's not Dr. Educator because he thinks he's the manager. There's a big difference here uh, between being the manager and thinking you're the manager. Uh, but Styles is here. You will not and and I, I come bearing great news. There will be no Dr. Educator here tonight because he's in the hospital. Yeah, after what occurred last week, we'll talk about that. And, uh, yeah, it's been crazy around here. So we're starting off with Styles here tonight. I don't know what's going to happen, but it, it's definitely going to be interesting. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Brandon Styles here, the CTL manager. And I have a lot to say. I want to just first of all say the last couple weeks have been rough. I have suffered two losses. And I am getting sick and tired of Dr. Educator and his people, including you, William Buttox. And I will be facing off with William at the pay-per-view. But I just want you all to know this. Last week, Dr. Educator and Gorgie were attacked. And it was brutal. And both of them tonight are recovering in the hospital. And I just wanted the two of them to know, since Dr. Educator thinks he's the manager of this brand, I'm not going to do nothing because apparently I'm not in charge. So why would I want to suspend the Mascow Monster and Paul Weiss when they brought you damage to your doorstep? But there's still a lot to go around. And I want William to know that he's going to be facing off with me tonight. Now, who are going to be my partners? That's a big question. And Styles needs a partner. A lot of people aren't here tonight. A lot of people took off tonight. Oh, my goodness. Could we see this, actually? Oh, man. This man brought havoc. He put Gorgie in the hospital last week. And broke two tables and a uh, um, a barrier. Uh, <laughs> he made a big impact last week. He did not win against Game Over, and he's still angry about that. And, but these two have a common enemy. They have a common enemy. This guy does not like. He was willing to work with Doctor Educator last week, but he thinks he's a failure now. Apparently, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this guy's head. I'm telling you. I know you and I and Paul Weiss do not get along. And I do not like Game Over. But I think we can all put our differences aside and hit Dr. Educator's people while he's down. Paul Weiss and I will tag with you, Brandon Styles, tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be starting off with Lethal versus Mr. Live. Both of these guys are number one contenders for uh, belts. Lethal, the number one contender for the CTL title. And Mr. Live, the number one contender for uh, the United States. So these two, they teamed up last week. It did not work out. And now they are going to go one-on-one -on -one here tonight. Let me remind you of something that is crazy that I that I uh, that I forgot to mention, and it is our fault on here. Lethal's an intercontinental champion. He is the intercontinental champion. So yeah, so we did find that out. We should have knew that, uh, but he is intercontinental champion. So. Uh, you know, usually we wouldn't have someone go for the big title if they already have a belt. But since we didn't know, there you go. There you go. You, you can still go for it. Um, however, he is going to have, uh, there's going to be a number one contendership up next, I believe. And that is going to be for the number one contendership for the Intercontinental title. So he's going to have to defend his title. We're not going to have a double title match like we've had in uh, the uh, uh, before because uh, um, we really did, we didn't know at the time Lethal had the belt. And he won it at WrestleMania, though. So technically, he is the Intercontinental Champion. 
So we're going to have a number one, a six-man number one contendership tonight. Also, guys, we are going to have the uh, Destroyers are going to be in action against the Stock Boys. And so you're going to see all three Stock Boys in action against uh, the Destroyers and the CTL champion, Justice Dragon. Uh, it's going to be a good one as well. And a kick out there by Lethal. And our main event, you never thought you'd see this, Paul Weiss and the Mascow Monster teaming up with Brandon Styles tonight. But he's going to need all the help he can get because he's going to be facing Joe and William, two seven-foot-four centers, along with Kong Chang. Who has also beat who has beat Styles uh, tonight, and that is going to be an epic uh, six-man. We're going to have two tornado tag six-man matches, so going to be some epic teams coming together, some unlikely alliances coming together as well. That's going to be fun. We're going to see all three Stock Boys in action tonight. That's going to be cool. Uh, of course, they're the number one contenders for the tag titles. The, the tag champions that are off for the night, and a couple other people are as well. So, and look at Lethal here. Look at this. Oh, man, what a move. And this is two out of three falls. Both of these guys, number one contenders. And Lethal going for a pin here. Get a kick out there. Look at Lethal, RKO, beautiful RKO, going for the pin, and a kick out there. Yeah, so the condition, uh, Dr. Educator and Gordy will be back. Um, they may come back at the pay-per-view. They're probably going to be out another week. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of damage done. Uh, Paul Weiss turned on, if you guys missed it, spoilers, Paul Weiss turned on Dr. Educator, um, and hit him with still steps in the head twice. Uh, one of the hits really landed wrong. So, uh, yeah, yeah, he had to go to the hospital. And Styles is not pressing charges. He is not going to say anything because, like he said, apparently he's not the manager. So he, he can't do that, apparently. You know, they, they want, uh, Dr. Educator wants to call himself a manager. Well, um, how are you going to manage from a hospital bed? Exactly. Yeah, so Styles isn't going to do nothing. He's going to let this happen. He doesn't care about the, the broken tables and the, and the, uh, the broken barrier that we're going to have to pay for. But, I mean... I mean, who cares? You know, they caused it. And you and you can't really trust the Mascow Monster and Paul Weiss as well because they were teaming up with Gorgie and they were representing Dr. Educator just last week until they got mad. Uh, the both of them got mad because of what Gorgie did. He was showing off earlier in the match and, uh, and lethal with a nice kick out. Mr. Live trying to get the pin there. No luck there. Lethal with a ferocious elbow. Look at Lethal. Look at this. Lethal going for the pin. And a kick out there by Mr. Live. And lethal again, an RKO. And that's a point. Wow, lethal starting off strong in this. He he, he seemed pretty upset with Mr. Live because Mr. Live could not, uh, I, you know, he was tagging with Mr. Live last week. I don't think he wanted to. Uh, so now. These two are going to have a fight. So, 
Look, here we go again. And of course, Mr. Live, former CTL champion. So there is a rivalry here. Lethal's going to get a shot at the CTL title. He's already Intercontinental champion. Of course, we'll determine his contender. And we might have that match before the pay-per-view. So we might not be on the same night. Kick out there by Lethal. And a spine buster by Mr. Live. Oh my goodness. He's going for the pin again, and another kick out by Lethal. Mr. Live's going to keep on applying these finishers, trying to get that pin. He needs a, to, a point to just tie. He's down by one. And he's got it. So it is officially one-to-one. -one. We got a good fight here. Look at the, oh, nice submission. Locked in by Lethal. And Mr. Live taps out. Wow, what a submission. Lethal looking down at him. And I'm telling you, he's looking, Lethal's looking good. I mean, he didn't win last week, but he won the he won the number one contendership for the, the, the main belt. And now he's defeated the number one contender for the United States belt. So, I mean... He's going into this. He's got a lot. He's a lot, got a lot going for him. Um, with two big victories. Two big victories. Of course, we still have another week until we'll do the pay-per-view. Another episode. Until the pay-per-view will come out. It will be episode... Uh, it should be episode 45. We'll, we'll get the conclusion to all this. And Lethal with a big victory tonight. Congratulations to Lethal. And up next is going to be the number one contendership. Number one contendership for uh, Lethal Spelled. It's going to be a six-man match. From left to right, we got Domino. We got Luke Razorblade. We got Crimson. We got Ryan Red Dead. Sean and Mr. John. Um, not, not Mr. John Ryan. My bad. John Michael DeSanta. At the, um, all the way at the uh, right there. Um, so six-man match. It's going to be a good one. Uh, number one contendership for an intercontinental title. So um, that w they will go up against Lethal. We don't know if we're going to do that next week or if we're going to just uh, um, do it at the pay-per-view yet. We haven't decided on that, but it, it is coming up. Or it could be after the pay-per-view. Maybe the episode after. This is Falls Count Anywhere, six-man elimination match. And Crimson going for a pin. Referee's just blind. He finally realized it. That could have, I mean, honestly, I didn't expect it, but that could have been a three really early. And a kick out there by Sean. Look at Domeno throwing Ryan out of the, uh-oh. They're already pumped up, all these guys are. Look at this. Domeno. Oh, what a move. And, hey, watch where you're flying the drone. we got to get a good shot of this. So. And this is going to be a great match indeed. Look 
at Crimson. Sean going for a pin. And kick out there. And Luke Razorblade trying to get a pin, not even a one. Got a bunch of really resilient superstars here. And hopefully next year we'll pick up more people. So uh, just remember when 22 comes out, if you want to sign up, feel free to. Um, we would prefer you make yourself. Uh, that's always the best way. <laughs> but we will have sign-ups. So. For both uh, CTL and WTF brands. And look at Ryan. Oh, man, he's got a nice submission locked in on Domeno. Domeno could be in trouble here. And Domeno kind of rolls his way out of it. Look at Crimson. Ooh, look at this. Oh, what a reversal. Kick out there by Ryan. Kick out there by Crimson. <laughs> Got a lot of craziness going on in this. And Ryan with a sweet chin. And referee is yet again very slow to this pin. Look at this. Domeno has been eliminated. So... We're down to five people now. And a kick out there by Luke Razorblade. And Ryan going for another pin. The kick out there by John. I mean, this is the best news ever. Dr. Educator's not here tonight. It's like the greatest news ever. It's like Paul Weiss actually did something right for once in his life. You know? And look here. Look at Crimson. Oh man, this is a big high-flying high maneuver here. Oh my goodness, from the top rope. And again. Wow, what a move. And going for the pin. And a kick out there by Luke Razorblade. Oh man, Ryan caught John out of nowhere. Game over's got a shot at this. There's two members in this matchup. Didn't want to put three, it would be too many. So they do have, uh, it's a 33% chance of winning this. Since they started with six of them. Now it's less, and now it's more than that because Domino has been eliminated. First one out of this match. Oh man, Mr. John Ryan with that. Um, not Mrs. Goodness, my bad. John with a big spear. Get the two confused all the time. It's two Johns, so sorry. <laughs> and 
And Ryan survived it. I don't know how he did it. But, and Luke Razorblade with another kick out. He's been through a lot in this match, but he's still going. And look at Crimson. Oh, man, what a hit. Luke Razorblade could be in trouble here. There's two pins going on here. And a kick out on the first one. And a kick out on the second one. Look at Sean. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, man. Lays out Ryan good there. And John slamming Ryan down. John going for a pin. And look at Luke Razorblade. Oh man, has eliminated Crimson. That was very unexpected. But Luke Razorblade is, I mean, he's been pretty impressive in this matchup. He survived a lot. And now uh, has eliminated one of the members of Game Over. So it is down to four people now in this. And look here. John. Oh, with a choke slam. And Sean. <laughs> He hit him too. And John's gonna go for the pin. And Luke Razorblade again kicks out. And guys, come on. Put the lights back on. We paid the bill. How many times do we have to tell these people? And Luke Razorblade going for the pin here. Kick out there by John. So we are down to four in this matchup. Luke, oh man, throwing out Ryan there. And look at Luke here. Ooh, he's got a, a good submission in on Sean. And Sean throws him off. And look at Sean here. A choke slam. He's been through everything Razorblade has. Everything Luke has. Oh my goodness, and finally, He's out of this after all the damage they did. Um, hey, still a great performance though. So we are down to three now, officially. And uh-oh, Sean applying the bear hug on Ryan. And Ryan using his elbows to get out of this one. Oh man. Clap on the ears. That always. Oh! Sean never saw that one coming. Look at this. And Ryan's got John in a submission now. And John, that submission has not been very, very efficient at all. I mean, tried it on everyone, really. Seems to be like one of the easiest ones to get out of. We're down to three. And a kick out there by Ryan.
And look at Ryan here going for his submission. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, John could be in trouble. Ryan used this earlier and he's gonna use it again. And John has been eliminated. We are down to two now. Sean versus Ryan. Oh man, and a sweet chin. Sean never saw it coming. Oh my goodness. Can Ryan take this? And he does. Amazing. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. And that's two weeks in a row Ryan has been on fire. Ever since he's, you know, changed those pants up to those blue jeans, he's been unstoppable. It's the magic jeans or something. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but a big win here tonight. Eliminated, uh, I believe, four people or about probably about four, I would say, out of six. So, well, and, uh, about three. Eliminated John, Domino, and Sean. Um, I don't recall who got Luke. I think someone I think someone else got Luke, but Ryan, number one contender for the Intercontinental Belt. Now, he will face off of Lethal. That will be a good matchup. Uh, Shawn Michaels moveset versus Randy Orton moveset. That would be pretty epic. So... And up next, guys, it is the Stock Boys versus the Destroyers and the champion, Justice Dragon. Tornado tag, two out of three falls. It's going to be epic to see all three Stock Boys in action here tonight. It's just a basic a exhibition match. They really don't have a rivalry going on. Uh, however, the Stock Boys are going to take on the tag team champions, which is uh, um, Marcus and Luther. However, the Destroyers our former tag team champions, one of the greatest tag teams all, of all time, along with uh, Game Over. They're also one of the greatest of all time. And here we go. Boy, did we have a good one here. Break up there. Of course, Jarex is the uh, United States champion right now, so you have the U.S. champion and the uh, C uh, CTL champion teaming up once again. Now, Lonzo, of course, was a former number one contender for the big belt as well, um, but he lost at Mania on that match. But he's a former tag champion. I don't think the Stock Boys have ever earned any gold. I know Jack Jonas has had a heck of a NBA career, but really, uh, well, last year he did. Um, but they really haven't earned any uh, titles yet. But, oh man, Andy with a Superman punch to Alonzo, and then a spear to follow up. Oh man. But I'm telling you, they're, they are a force to reckon with, but they seem to be that team that can, they can never get the job done. They can never get the job done. Um, but they did win last week, got a number one contendership. So that, that's a big deal for them. 
and they can be extremely dangerous. This will be two out of three falls. This will not be falls count anywhere. You have to get your pins in the ring. So, look at Jack Jonas. Oh, man. What a nice DDT there on Jarrett's. Jarrett's going to roll out of the ring. Now Jack Jonas with the, using his foot. There is no doubt between the three stock boys that Jack Jonas is the best one. Even though Andy is the manager, Jack Jonas is definitely the best fighter of the three, um, which he and Will will be um, going up for the tag titles um, against Marcus and Luther. So that's going to be good. It's going to be in probably two more episodes from now. It's going to be pay-per-view match. Now. So, and Jarek's going for a pin here. And Jack, not doing well on that one. But look here. Justice Dragon was trying to get the crowd going and it did not work out for him. Look at Will. Oh man, Will's going to go for it all here. Oh man. And an elbow right to the back. A high flying elbow. Jarek's going for the pin. Will stops it. Good stop there. Taking Alonzo down with it. Uh, halfway Superman punch. But look at Justice Dragon. It's going to be all over the place this match is. Crazy. Good all over the place. Because everybody's going to be everywhere. <laughs> and Jarek's going for the pin. Kick out there by Andy. Oh, what a breakup there by Andy. Just going between both of the destroyers and making his way to break up that pin and then rolling out to uh, prevent himself from getting hit by Alonzo there. That finisher, that would have been deadly. Oh, man, and a spear from Justice Dragon. This could be an opportunity to get a pin here, and we'll see if they can get it. And Will broke it up, but he got a kick to the face as soon as he did. What a sacrifice he had to make there. And another kick out. Goodness, the stock boys, boys are on point so far in this matchup. And look at Justice. Oh, man. The botched jackhammer because somebody punched him while he was doing it. And, oh, man. Justice Dragon's had enough of Andy. Look at this. Oh, man. Nice drop on him. He's going up top again. That time did not connect. And look at Will here. Boston Crab locked in. And Justice Dragon with the stop and clean him. Jarek's going for a pin. And, oh, man, Jack Jonas reaching that reach. Breaks it up. St still no uh, points for either team. Stock boys have, uh, easily could have been pinned a couple times, but they're, they're working good together. Jarek's the powerball. And look at Jack Jonas. Well, did not go for it. Well, now he is. That's an interesting move. A kick out there by Alonzo. Of course, Alonzo and Jarex have been here for quite some time. We're talking 18 since uh, 2K18 been in action here. One, one, like I said, one of the greatest tag teams ever. One, uh, definitely one of the best on CTL. So, um, Look at Justice Dragon. Oh, man. Knocks Andy down. And 
Look here. Another submission. This is a very odd submission, but uh, Jack, uh, I mean, Will gets right out of it. And Alonzo with the kick to the head on Andy. Going for the pin. And look here. Oh, we got a double pin, though. Jack Jonas. Oh, man. He thought it was the other one. Oh, man. And that is a point for Alonzo. The referee went for the uh, first pin first. Which Jack didn't see right off the bat. What a good... Oh, man. Alonzo with suplexes. Giving him out. He's the Oprah of suplex. Oh, man. Some brutal moves there. Stock boys finally make a mistake, costing them a point, but it is far from over. This is a good, really good fight. Oh man. Look at Jarek's here. And this is the kick. Referee is down. There's just so much going on here. It's, it's so much of a collision. And look at uh, Will. Oh, man. And Will, uh-oh. Destroyers are in trouble. Justice Dragon is about to be in trouble here. Look at this spear from Will. And here comes a pin. Can Jarek get there in time? And he does. Wow. He uses Andy to stop, uh, basically break up the pin with his head. <laughs> That's crazy. And Jarek's going for a pin now. And Jack breaks that up. Will going to work on Jarek. He's mad. <laughs> he is definitely mad over what just transpired. Look at Andy. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Close line after. Jerix, look at him sneaking in a pin. Look at this. And a kick out there. And look at Jack Jonas. Will's in the way, but got a good kick, uh, kick out. And Justice Dragon now going for the pin. He has an opportunity to seal the deal here. Look at this. He does. Oh, wow. And Jack is so mad. He was going for a spear as he got the other stock boy got pinned. So what a incredible victory here by the Destroyers and Justice Dragon to defeat the stock boys. Stock boys gave it their all. Uh, did really well. They have improved, but still not good enough. They're always falling short against these teams because these teams are the best but speaking of interesting um this match right here is going to be very interesting because we're going to see a manager team up with two people he usually wouldn't team up with against two seven foot four guys and Kong Chang so this is going to be good so here we go with an unlikely alliance here as the Mascow Monster Paul Weiss and Brandon Styles working together. Of course, if you guys did, didn't see it last week, Paul Weiss did turn on Dr. Educator, an unexpected turn of events. After he gave what I would say a great performance against Game Over, I mean, he was the only one that got a pin against them, but it was two out of three falls, so it didn't matter in the end. And look at, just to show you William's unbelievable strength, look at the size difference between him and Styles. Styles used a move that would knock any man down, and Paul Weiss just jumped on William's back, but it didn't even phase William, that move that he usually uses. So there is a, a cruiserweight versus a super heavyweight we're talking about at the pay-per-view. And uh, if he, even if he can win tonight, that would give them an advantage. Right now, Dr. Educator is three men down technically. 
Um, and look at William. Oh, man, got mad at Paul, threw him into the ropes. Um, you know, he's down himself. He's down Gorgie, and Paul Weiss has left the crew. And we don't, and we haven't seen Frederick Duncan. We think he's out on injury, so and that leaves three of them left. So three of them left. Um, so who knows what's going to happen? I mean, uh, he's definitely not going to be back for a couple weeks, which is good. We won't have to hear from him. Uh, so yeah, but he's going when he comes back, it's going to be with vengeance because Paul Vice technically did put his hands on a. I, I want to say a manager, but is he a manager really? He, but he's a he's a he works with the board of executives, though, so that's going to be a problem. And William is one of the board of executives. You don't want to mess with the board, so Paul Weitz could end up getting the board for messing with the board. But we'll see what happens. He has been on a rage lately. They may get the board in the end. <laughs> Look at Styles. Oh, man. Nice backflip kick. We've got two seven foot four guys on Team Educator. Uh, the Educated Fools. That's what I call them. Look at. Oh, man. Nice cow monster had his back turned, and William just really got him good. But look at Styles taking advantage. Uh, and of course, the Mass Cow Monster seven foot four. So we got three seven foot four people in this matchup. It's crazy. Contain a light heavyweight, Paul Ice a heavyweight, and Styles a cruiserweight. So and look at Paul Weiss. Oh man, look at this. Oh man, look at oh oh right into Gong Chang. And Joe with a big punch. Gonna go for the pin here. And Paul Weiss right on that pin. Now going for the pin on William. And kick out there. Look at Kong. Oh my goodness. What a brutal move there. And the Mascow Monster gets involved. Breaks up the pin. And William lays out the monster. Now going after Vice. Of course, we cannot wait for 22. We still haven't heard nothing. Uh, we're going to try to get 10 done on each side here. And we're almost at the halfway mark. But that is coming out, and, uh, and we are running out of time. I mean, we are. Uh, we're talking mid-March, stuff like that. Of course, we could probably still finish it while it's going, while we're, you know, while we're still updating everybody on 22. We could probably still finish these out, but we want to get as many done as we can. And Joe has been, elim uh, well, not eliminated, but pinned by Paul Weiss. So the Paul Weiss once again coming through, uh, getting a point on the board. But Joe may make him pay here with the bear hug. Oh, man, and Styles kicks Joe in the back. Oh, man. Of course, cannot wait for 22. I think we're all been dying. And look at look at Chang dying to see it uh, play out because we've been with 20 for too long, way too long, and it has been nothing but a disaster. And look at oh man! And Joe breaks up the pin there. And look at William. William setting up a pin on Styles and it didn't even get a two. Nice try, William. <laughs> right now it is one to nothing. 
if uh, Team Styles can get a pin, they can win this thing. Look at Joe. He's setting up a fist or something. Oh, man. Drops Paul Weiss there, and Cone Chain going to try to get a finisher on the monster. Look at this. You got to watch out. Cone Chain is extremely dangerous. He used to be a complete moron. But look at this. Did he get a pin? Oh, Styles comes through. Oh, man. What a break up there. That's the second time Styles has really came through in this match. And look at Joe breaking up that pin. Imagine if Styles pins William tonight. That'd be crazy. Styles is setting something up. And look at this. Oh my goodness, this is like 500 pounds. Bam! <laughs> and Styles is going for the pin, but too much action going on. He can't, he can't, it's hard to get a pin in this matchup. Oh my goodness, and Joe just almost took Paul Weiss's head off with that boot. And tried to go for another kick, and he may pay for this one. This has just been hellacious. Everyone's too big. First of all, there's three guys that are way too big <laughs> in this matchup. They're like seven over, like seven four at least. They're all centers in NBA, by the way. So <laughs> it's crazy. And the referee, he's just getting, he's getting thrown on the ground constantly and walked on and stomped on and land and people are landing on him. It's, it's a rough day for the referee. That, that is for sure. A terrible day. Look at the monster here. Oh man, he's gonna take William to old school. Look at Vice getting in between it. <laughs> it may have messed his move up, or whatever was going on. And look at Calm Chain, he's got a submission in on Vice, and Vice gets out of it. Oh, this has just been crazy. This matchup has been one point for Styles. All they need is one more. Oh man. And Joe with a big strike there on Vice. And now a spear. And this is an opportunity for them to score here. Here comes Styles, though. It's Styles. There's a backflip. Uh-oh, but they're going to go for another one. And Styles again. <laughs> and they're having trouble uh, keeping track of where he is. Maybe it's because there's two giants on their team. Look here, William. Oh man, drives Styles on the rope. And he's showing off. Look at the Mascow monster. Oh my goodness. Tombstone Pile Driver on Joe J. James. And William's outside the ring, so is Kong. Look at this. And Kong barely misses the, the breakup. Styles was in the way. And I'm telling you, Team Styles wins tonight. And Dr. Educator's team has been embarrassed yet again. Like every week they do. I mean, with the exception of the one Kong Chain win a couple weeks ago. They have been an absolute embarrassment. Had two seven foot fours in this match. Of course, Styles had one, but they still couldn't win. Paul Weiss coming through as well. Styles did great on uh, breaking up pins. We will see you all later. What is going to happen next week? Could these? Could there be a new alliance here? I don't know. I don't know if I would trust these guys, but they did great tonight.